Hey y'all, I'm in the garden today. It, this is going to be a super quick video because it's almost 8 o'clock at night and it is still over 100 degrees. It is just awful out here. But um, I promised I would do an update on our electroculture experiment and I have come to one conclusion so far that um, I don't really think I can be swayed on. And that is some people are promising that with when you're doing electroculture gardening that you will no longer need herbicides or pesticides or fertilizers and everything's just going to grow super huge and bount have a bountiful harvest. Okay, well, so we have this weed. It's closing up because it's nighttime. I call it like a fake mimosa weed. I think some people call it chamber bitters or gripe weed. Um, I call it fake mimosa because it looks like a mimosa tree. But anyway, so in this bed here, which is my ochre bed, um, we have some of the copper coils and it has not in any way, shape or form stopped the weed from growing. In fact, the, the weeds were so bad around the coil that you could hardly see the coil. Let me show you real quick. So when the uh, leaves are open on the mimosa, the fake mimosa, it you can barely even see the this particular coil sitting right here. So you guys are super nosy. Really? Really? I'm trying to make a video here. Good night, Minerva. So anyway, we can conclusively say that copper coils for electroculture gardening do not keep this particular weed from growing in our garden. Whether that means it keeps other weeds from growing, we can't really say. I know there are going to be people that say, well, it's because the coil's not big enough or it's not wound the right direction or it's not the right gauge or I didn't do it under a full moon with a pink tutu on. I don't know. All I can conclusively say about our electroculture, electroculture experiment at this point is that it does not keep this particular weed from growing. So let's move on to the second observation, which is an, another bed. Now here's one of the coils and it is just laying down on the ground, which brings me to my second observation, which is I now understand why some people put the dowels, wrap it around dowels, because the dowels give it more stability. I think that's the only purpose for the dowels. Um, this is where my peanuts are growing, by the way. You, just, you, you guys just gonna follow me from bed to bed? I don't have any snacks. The snacks are over there. But anyway, so that is my second observation is that that is probably the reason for the dowels is it gives more stability to the copper coils. Let's move on to another bed. My perfume breeze roses are still doing good in this extremely hot weather, by the way. Dwarf bananas are looking uh, sad. See the yellowing in the leaves? They are not liking all this heat with no rain. I'm gonna have to water these more often. So in this bed, I had a copper coil. Here it is. Looks like the cats or something dug it up. So again, the reason for the dowels is probably to give these things more stability. Just the wire alone is not enough apparently. So that is my update on the electroculture experiment. The uh, final judgment is still out, I guess. We haven't really been doing the experiment long enough to come to a final conclusion, but I don't have a lot of faith in saying, or I don't have a lot of confidence in saying that you're suddenly not gonna have weeds growing in your beds because I just find it hard to believe that any copper coil could be that magical because if it was, lots of people would have been doing this forever because people hate pulling weeds. The vote is still out on all the other electroculture claims. We're going to have to be doing this a whole lot longer 
before I can come to a conclusion on some of those things. So that is my electric culture experiment update. Thank you guys for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe.